The following steps will show you how to open and close the lid. To open the lid, first, ensure that the spindle is all the way up by turning it in a counterclockwise motion. If attempting to open the lid at the end of the cooking cycle, then wait until all the pressure has been released from the fry pot by checking the pressure gauge indicator. Next, place your non-dominant hand on the tip of the cross arm and apply some weight on it. While applying some weight on the tip of the cross arm, use your dominant hand to lift the latch. The spring-loaded lid will rise and stay up. Avoid raising the lid violently to minimize wear and tear of the lid spring that can cause it to break. To close the lid, first make sure that the spindle is all the way up by turning it in a counterclockwise motion. Then bring the lid down and push it until the lid latch snaps into place on the fry pot lip. If closing the lid to cook product, then turn the spindle in a clockwise motion until you cannot turn it anymore. Do not over tighten. When the spindle is properly calibrated, the red knob on the spindle will align with the red knob on the lid latch. If the red knobs are not aligned, then proceed to perform the spindle adjustment procedure described in the lid adjustment video. Improper spindle calibration can result in the lid not locking properly under pressure. Separating the cross arm from the lid is necessary when performing pressure system inspections and cleaning and lubrication procedures as outlined in the 30-day planned maintenance schedule. To separate the cross arm from the lid, first close the lid and make sure that the spindle is all the way up by turning it in a counterclockwise motion. Place your non-dominant hand on the tip of the cross arm and apply some weight on it. While applying some weight on the tip of the cross arm, use your non-dominant hand to pull on the retaining pin while your dominant hand lifts the latch. The spring-loaded cross arm will rise and stay up. Avoid letting go of the cross arm to minimize wear and tear of the lid spring that can cause it to break. To reattach the cross arm to the lid, bring the cross arm down with your non-dominant hand until the latch touches the lid. With your dominant hand, lift the latch and push down on the cross arm until the retaining pin touches the lid. Let go of the latch and with your dominant hand, pull the retaining pin and hold it out with your non-dominant hand. Place your dominant hand back on the latch and push down on the cross arm until the latch snaps into the fry pot lip and let go of both the cross arm and the latch. Check that cross arm is properly attached to the lid by opening and closing the lid assembly a couple of times.